let's take a look at the pre-band for Duchan and Shovi. That's going to be the Wedjet and the Oliver pre-band here. First pick for Shovi. Are we seeing the similar Vanessa Camilla or are we seeing something different? Oh, that's going to be a first pick Doman for Chovy. And Duchan is going to go for the Neftis and Laura getting picked up as well. Chovy instantly going to go for the Juno because Juno counter both these units. And Camilla is a very good bruiser as well. So Duchan is going to follow up with a, with a Varad for the pushback and the freeze. Potentially to control the enemy attack bar so that he can have a damage dealer to move right after the Neftis. And that's going to be a chunk for more attack bar control. So will Chovy bring out the Veramos to potentially counter this amount of debuff going on over there? And we might see a Gyo last week as well. That's going to be a Seime and the Fire Pill Vanilla Cookie for the counter pick. Oh, wait, that's going to be the Josephine for the last pick of Chovy to counter all the stun. He can potentially ban out the Chungpeng as well. And that's going to be the Water Ryu last pick for Duchan to, for more stripping, just to be sure. You can never be sure. You need to add more buff remover into your team. So that's going to be a Chung Pung ban because you need to get your passive and also your cooldown. And that's going to be the same A ban. The same A is absolutely incredible against the set, the Neftis over there. Here comes the strip and also the buff. The water with you with the full up. And here comes the Neftis setup for the Varad defense buff attack. But that didn't really kill anyone. And here comes the Josephine with a turn, trying to provoke the Water Ryu, but couldn't get it done. Water Ryu slammed more damage onto the enemy team, get a Violent proc to almost finish off the Juno. Juno is gonna not go down just yet, but there is the finishing attack on the Juno. Get the most biggest counter out of the way, and here comes Varad, follow up attack as well. And that's gonna take out Seimei, and Duchan just cleave the entire enemy team with his Laura Varad combo. Oh my god, that defense buff, that boosted damage coming out from Varad was incredible. And also the damage coming out from the Water Review to follow up was enough to destroy the counter pick coming out from Chovy. And there's nothing that Chovy can do. Duchan completely dominated the first game. GG! Wow! That was, that looked way too easy for him. Incredible performance, great team. Man, that, that Josephine missing the Provoke on the Maw was so crucial because the Maw was able to damage, push back even further on the enemy team and there was nothing that Shovey could do right after that. Ducha, incredible performance. He might have slipped up a little bit in the previous game but now, he is dominating. I wonder what Chovy's gonna do for the counterplay. Because that cleave was a little bit too clean. He might have to ban the, the Neptis next game. If he banned the Neptis, maybe he would have had a chance. Maybe. But I think that's gonna be the first. The pre ban has to be Neptis at this point. And maybe Yukon's gonna have a different strategy this time against Chovy. And not relying on his Neftis thing. And now we're going to game two between Dukan and Chovy.
and that's gonna be the Nephthys and Doman pre-ban. First pick to Dukan. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna go for Oliver, Miles, Rakuni? He might be doing it. And here comes the Wedjet being first picked by Chovy here. Yeah? Into potentially a Camilla or a Miles. He has to take the Miles away from the enemy, I think. And Miles goes really well with the Wedjet as well. I'm... He's going for heavy speed lead. And that's gonna be Vanessa first pick and Wedjet for Chovy. Miles Rakuni getting picked up by Duchan immediately because it's just the great, the great trio. Good against everything, good against everything, and good with anything. And here comes the Leo to counter the speed buff and the speed from the mouse. And here comes the Fire Cassandra to potentially one-shot the Raccoonie or the Oliver as well. So will we see some sort of Thessarian for Odie's passive? And maybe a Lyca? If I want to see one, oh, it's going to be Vert and Kinky coming out from Duchan. Because there's no real counter to Kinky just yet. And Vert is great into Leo. You're going to abuse the Leo passive and make it work for you. What is going to be the last pick here? Some heavy debuff unit. Because there are no immunity on the side of Duchan. I think it's going to be a wedge at ban. Suiki getting picked up here for Chovy, the mascot of the Korean bracket, and is a great last picking into an entire team of Duchan. But I think it's gonna be either Wedge out of Suiki ban, and it has to be the Vert or Rakuni ban here. It's gonna be a Kinky and Cassandra ban for these two players. So. The mouse is not going to be very, very useful with his damage, but Bird Raccoonie is going to abuse the Leo passive. But the problem is, where, where is the damage from Ducha? How can he do damage without defense break, without mouse speed? With, it's just going to be a lot of turn cycling, but I, I don't see the damage coming out from Ducha and. The more you stay in this match, the stronger Leo and Suiki you become. And just one turn from them can annihilate a unit from your team. But maybe Vert and, and Oliver is going to keep them from moving. And that is going to be a very big factor. But you cannot keep the Wedjet from boosting the attack button. But du Duchan is really trying hard to get as many turns as possible. And trying to kill this Vanessa immediately. Changing up the target a little bit, maybe. Switching up to the Suiki, but that is not going to be a problem because Suiki can take these damage all day. And the defense break is on the vert. And if this Leo is feeling a little bit spicy, he might go straight into the vert with a with a crit. And he is going for it with a violent proc. He might kill the vert here, but no, the law of elements block him from doing so. And double glancing it coming out from the Leo. Vanessa going down. The next target will definitely going to be the Suiki, because the moment Suiki go down, it is over for Chovy. And Vert, the vert Rakuni combo is completely abusing Leo for, for, for Duchan. Leo right now feel like a fifth unit on the side of Duchan. Chovy's playing 2v5 with this. Here comes Suiki, he needs to get that classic Violent Proc. No, he couldn't get the Violent Proc to finish off the Vert. And Duchan team is still standing strong doing a lot of damage onto the enemy. He just can't get a turn. The power of Vert, Rakuni into a Leo, it's just way too strong. And here comes the Vert, trying to give this team a turn, keeping the team, enemy team from moving, not attacking the Leo because you might put him into the range of Torrent ignoring defense. And that will kill pretty much anything under the sun. Here comes the Vert revenging. And Amda can't even get a proper skill to on to counter this bird with anti -kill. And Rakuni is just keeping everybody alive, keeping the defense break away from the team. And that Leo is probably going to go down soon now. And there's nobody to stop them. Here comes the Leo eating the final hit from the... Not quite yet, but I think the bird is here to finish him off. And that might have been GG. That might have been GG.
We thought Duchen wouldn't have enough damage, but hey, picking up Verdant to a Leo is literally the classic strategy in the RTA book, and it worked out just fine. Wow. That was... That's, that's it! Duchen will go to the final of the loser bracket.